All right, so uh, your first campaign, yeah, uh, the three campaign, all it takes. What was it like? Firstly, been involved. I suppose it would have been your first real, mm. full campaign that was nationwide, and uh, it also brought in your your grandfather and your family into it. Yeah, it was a number of factors made it really special for me. Obviously, it being my first and people people seeing it around the country and seeing it on TV was was it was really special as well. Um, to have my my grandfather in it and, and my parents involved in it as well was was just unbelievable. And I think um, it's really really good to have have my granddad there and he, he's still alive at at 89. You know, yeah. and it's really something special to me. It doesn't look like there's any bother on him at all at 89. No, it looks like no. it looks like in fact that he kind of rules the roost down there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, he's he does he rules the roost and he. He kind of brought me up uh, playing playing traditional music when I was a youngster, and he he kind of brought me uh, got me involved in in a little bit of sport as well, and got me involved in the the water activities and stuff yeah. where where I grew up. All right, so one one thing at a time. So we saw another side to you there. Here, why am I holding the ball? You're lying to that. And um, we saw that you, you play the accordion. Yeah. And uh, has that been something? Is that the only instrument, or has that been something that you've always done? Yeah, it's been it's kind of my main instrument. I I play the uh, the fiddle as well. So oh, I, right. two two instruments are, are my main kind of. But uh, I always played the accordion. It was and always a, my. As a kid, were they picked for you, or did you pick them? Because um, a lot a lot of kids like that's what you're playing. That's that, what it is. They were kind of picked. To, they were there. They were the only things in the in the playroom where we had them. So <laughs> in the instrument room. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, so it was try and try and take one or, or learn both, and yeah. I, I ended up learning both. Right. And is it is it something right? Like, look, I'm from Ockram County Wicklow as well. Like, and there's a huge culture there of families that had everybody plays multiple instruments and they can all sing. Is that you guys? Yeah. That that'd be quite like us. Um, Granddad taught every all of his grandkids, most of his grandkids, how to how to play, and we'd all gather around at uh, social events and family events, and we'd play a big session in a pub, and the the parents would be on the pints on the jars, and we'd be on our, our club club lemonade or whatnot, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'd just be enjoying the crack. Yeah. And we, we'd always have massive gatherings and we'd have a a lash, so a no lash of tunes. So we tune out of you or a sing song. Uh, what, no, uh, singing wasn't my strength now, I wouldn't yeah, say. But you could sing in a group, couldn't you? In a group, maybe. If, if, if you had to, what would it be? If you were picking the song? Uh, if I had to go to something, um, probably be something from the Dubliners, maybe. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, something. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. I yeah. like it. I like yeah. it. So you're in Athlone, you're down by the water, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just located and near the River Shannon. Water sports are, are big. It's not Beak. bloody freezing down there all the time. It is now, but it's it's <laughs> fine. It's fine in summer. Uh, you kind of get used to it after a while. Uh, yes, the water. Listen, it might be a nice day, but the water's yeah. still freezing. It's still freezing. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of we do a dry start off the off the jetty and try and do a dry finish in, so you don't have oh, to get yeah. wet. But it's, yeah, it's how a hard. often does that happen? No, nah, it doesn't happen really. We always end up falling. <laughs> yeah. you know? And so, excluding all the things that we've seen and the other sides of it, because like nobody would have known that about you. Is there anything else that press your buttons or? that you, you like doing outside of the rugby world that we all see you doing? Um, recently enough, I've kind of got into a bit of clay pigeon shooting. Oh yeah, I've, uh, we kind of did a, a team social there the other day with Connacht, and yeah. um, I think I was I was up the top, near, near the top end, because I got a bit of practice at it, and I've, oh, right, I've okay. been at it a good while. So uh, we had a competition, I think uh, myself and another guy were we're is pretty this close. Now something out of the blue, or is this something again the family does? No, something out of the blue. Just kind of recently, I, I did. Uh, I went, I went with um, a couple of friends out and out in their farms, just yeah. shooting a few clay pigeons. It's kind of been uh, a, a small activity that I've been doing. Side by side or over and under? Were you using? Over under. Over under. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know a little bit about. <laughs> and yeah. uh, college life. Yeah, college. Studio. Yeah, still, still trying to keep that going. It's um, how hard is that? It's tough. It's not. It's not really easy. You have you have a full plate, you know, and a lot of things balancing. If trying to run from from the weights weights to the library and, yeah. and trying to run to a lecture after a pitch session. But, um, what I'm are you studying? Doing uh, I'm doing arts and okay. I'm doing uh, geography and economics in okay. in NUIG. A group now are taking a much stronger uh, involvement with the players. That it is something that, in my day, look, it was just you finished and away you went. But now they kind of, it is something that is managed. They try to make sure the guys have something. Yeah, I think the system Arupa have is, is growing and it's getting way better. I think 
gives guys with, who, who pick up, who are unfortunate to pick up heavy injuries to, yeah. to kind of get themselves away from rugby for a bit and to be able to balance it between their academics and rugby and kind of help them do their rehab and then get into college and, and do a bit off the pitch. And I think it sets you up nicely for, for after rugby as well and it also kind of keeps your brain active. You don't really go brain dead just from rugby. and. That's what I, the fact that I like about it. You, you actually get to, to go and, and sit down and study something and kind of keep your brain ticking over as well. Yeah, OK, OK. Well, listen, thanks for having the chat. No uh, worries. I had a Burger King on the way up here. <laughs> You've been not to leave. It was making me all depressed. So we better go do the fitness sessions that we talked about. <laughs> all right? Yeah, we'll do all a few right, hundreds. Man. Take care. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>